Well, everything looks so different. I don't even know where I am right now. Gavin, help me out. Where are we? This is the new entrance of the museum right here oh on Wade gosh. Oval. And one of the coolest parts about this whole thing is you come off of the lobby into this new dining experience and then it connects out to a new atrium out front. So a lot of people go to natural history museums and they expect it to be dark and closed in. We put a lot of light into our new building. So all these spaces are beautifully connected and I'm seeing something out there in that part that yep. looks different. What's That's that? called Birdly. That's our new virtual reality experience. And it's not just virtual reality putting goggles on, it's putting goggles on and getting onto a flight simulator. Oh, can we do that? You can definitely do that. <laughs> All right, we're coming at you. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna do a workout or something. Where's the laser shooter? <laughs> Am I gonna get eaten? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. That is so fun. Well, you get off and you're a little woozy. So if I'm kind of trying to orient myself as to where where we are and where we have been, yeah, there used to be a giant pendulum right there, right? Yeah, right there, you're exactly right. That's where a pendulum was located before and we had a big staircase. We have moving the pendulum into the new gallery. So the pendulum will it's return. It's coming back. It's coming back and it's gonna be new and improved. That's a really big deal when you see a domino fall. a big fall. deal. So next we're gonna go look at Merch Auditorium, which we finished a year ago. Okay. And we updated all the new technology so you can actually do an event in there and live stream while you're doing it. So you can do hybrid events or hybrid presentations. Yep. And what we're premiering now is we installed 3D movies. Just did virtual reality flying, so yeah. why not a 3D so movie? So you need a set of 3D Thank glasses. You. We'll Ooh, head on in and see what's sweet. playing. Wow. I love how it just kind of takes you in. And this is free. This is free, yeah. Oh, my kids are going to love this. So this is the uh, Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel community space. This is gorgeous. So, so this is our new education wing, which is really great because buses will pull up right out front. The kids will unload and come right down the stairs into This is here. the starting point for this a lot of the, the starting classes. Point. Yeah. Think of how many kids are being inspired just by visiting. Yeah. Thousands. That is so cool. Well, they yep. can start very little. They start This start is very a very little. popular spot with the littles and, and my family, but yeah. my girls. This That's was right. it. This was where we came. So Hi. this is this is the new Smead Discovery Center presented by PNC Bank. So this is brand new. It used to be located in a very different place. Sure. And we brought it right down here into this community space. And it's all hands-on and interactive. The fossil dig, obviously, one of the favorites. Fossil dig is a is a is definitely a favorite. And we, <laughs> we have some paleontology here. We have Ooh. some astronomy. So really, if you look at all of the different spaces within the Smead Discovery Center, it's really a reflection of the entire museum itself. Sure. But for our younger audience and our Scaled younger visitors. Down. Oh, look at that! And we have lots of animals that we use for education. This is a new insect exhibit, and this is really a display of the immense biodiversity that we have around us that are represented by the insects of the world, which is Look pretty amazing. Can yeah. you imagine waking up and that thing is sitting on your nightstand looking at you? That's, sleep? A, that's a dream for me. This is actually one of the science lab classrooms, and they're made to look a lot more fun. There's some specimens in there. There's things that make kids feel like they're not at school anymore, but yeah. they're actually at a natural history museum. All this new technology, but still some old school, like familiar items. Absolutely. The natural history museum is about authenticity, right? Like people want to see objects, they want to see specimens, they want to see the real things. So we're never going to go away from that. Technology is never going to replace it. It's just going to enhance it. It's going to enhance that experience. My favorite part about this whole thing is if you look close at the glass, these little dots. you'll see little dots. And this is bird safe glass. Oh. So we really want to uh, think about the safety of our birds sure. and Wade Oval. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. And this is the Corning Gallery. One of the things we're really excited about in this is gives us the opportunity to display art. And if you think about natural history, early natural history really was documented through artistic true. endeavors. So paintings, illustrations. We have our Audubon back on display. That's the perfect example of art and natural history. And we also have on display our collection of Warhols. Where did these Warhols come from? Well, we have a fine arts collection here at the museum. I had no idea. We Where just don't get been? to display it all the time. And now we can. <laughs> this is one of the greatest parts is we can bring a lot of the material out that we haven't been able to before. So cool. 
So we had the planetarium closed for a period of time, but we get the opportunity to open it back up and we're gonna be unveiling a brand new show called Unfolding the Universe, which actually incorporates some of the brand new images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Wow, already. So, already, the current, this is, this is current <laughs> science is happening right now. So you'll be able to go in there, there's brand new seating, we have a new show. We actually repainted the dome itself so it reflects at a greater quality. Okay. And then we updated our software so we got the newest, best software to display the most accurate astronomical data that, that's known. So it's like a spaceship. You can go anywhere in the universe. You can ask the astronomer in there doing the show, take me to the edge of the known universe and they can do that. Oh, wow. That's incredible. I can't wait to come back.